Hey YouTube fam. Anyway, today I thought I'll just make a quick hair video just because I want to stay consistent. Next weekend will be, Kylan will officially be out of school so we'll have exciting things going on. For now I thought just for consistency let me just show you my new um, protective styling for the summer. Normally in the summer I wouldn't have twists but I would have my hair more in a bun, sometimes out, sometimes in a ponytail, very rarely those two, mostly in a bun. Anyway, I've started trying something new which is just a simple ponytail with a plait at the end. So I'm going to show you what I do now. My hair's already been washed, deep conditioned, um, pre pooed the lot. Um, if you see my ends, you will see that I have very healthy ends. I just gave a little clip of my ends today and I know that um, I only just trimmed my hair but you know I just felt this tiny tiny tiniest bits needed to be taken away so that's what I done so let's get started so as you see my hair is in six twists it has been conditioned moisturized and um, sealed with my avocado and coconut oil so that has all been done already what I like to do now is I like to go ahead and um, before my hair becomes too dry I like to go ahead and detangle because I find that it's all very well and good to detangle um, prior to washing or during washing but then after that you're still left with quite a lot of tangles through washing so this is a new thing that I've started to do I will use my comb to detangle um, whilst pre-pooing and I will then use my comb again um, at this point in my hair wash day where my hair is semi-dry, semi-damp um, so I'm just going to basically go around and do my whole head and then whip this all up into a ponytail hopefully I have enough time to show you the whole thing um, I hope so so I'm kind of rushing I shouldn't really rush this but I kind of am pressed for time so we're just going to do this I feel like this is a good way of um, low manipulation as well so you don't have to touch your hair I mean I literally keep this ponytail in for the week I might not this week however because I do have Kylan's show and Kylan's last day so I want to look presentable so maybe not the whole week but for majority of the week this is how I will keep my hair under control so that my hands are not in my hair so that I don't need to detangle my hair take it up and down from night time to day time and so on so I just as you see I just do a couple of strokes and you can see by my struggle that we do have tangles in my hair right now this is the last one now you have to remember guys it looks huge like this because it is still quite damp it's not uh, not completely dry um, I do have quite a lot of shrinkage um, but yeah it's fine
Right, now that is all done, this is the hair loss um, from combing out after wash. Okay, so now I'll just throw my hair back into a ponytail, try and make sure I grab as much of my hair. My hair's very thick, so it's very hard to actually do. I raise up my hair just slightly so I can get a better grip and a better ponytail out of it. Now I don't want my ponytail to be um, I don't want it to be too high and I don't want it to be too low either. This is very trying guys. When you have thick, thick hair, uh, it's, I should have really taken off my robe because it makes you sweat. Anyway, what would you would need is two hair bands. I use the very thick bands. Um, they have no metal in them, so they don't break my hair. Um, I trust them. I've been using them for years. I know you can get the um, satin ones, but the satin ones for me doesn't hold my hair as well. They just come out and they're quite annoying. So for me, as long as I don't have um, any metals in the hairband and it's just pure material, it should be fine. I then take three sections of my hair like this straight away while your ponytail is the t as tight as you can get it. I don't actually get it too tight. I just um, wrap my hairband twice. That's the most I wrap it. Um, that's just me because I don't want it to um, snag my hair and make my hair so tight that it's super uncomfortable. There is a step that I was going to try, guys, but I have forgotten to do this step. We're going to try anyway. What I'm going to do is all the loose hairs that's um, fraying at the top of my hair, as I don't use um, gels and edge control or any of that type of stuff, um, there's some loose hairs here, guys. I try to plait to the end. Plait to the end, get another band and just two ties also. That's just to weigh down your plait and for your plait to stay in. Then I just stroke my hair with the comb very briefly. Now, this is the step that I had forgotten to do, but I'm gonna sleep with this on. I'm not gonna keep this on throughout the day because um, let's see if we can do this without messing anything up. I'm not going to keep this on throughout the day because it makes me look like a bit of a schoolgirl, but this is simply just to keep your um, baby hairs in place throughout the night. Um, and this is how, this is the end result. As I said, I take this off, you know, in the morning. This is just to lay down, sorry about my greys. Um, and this is the plait which I will keep in for most of the week. Not this week, however. Um, this is the extent of my hair loss from doing that, which is not 
a huge amount of hair loss. Um, I think next week what I'm going to do is give you a um, more interesting video. Um, Kylan would have left school, um, so next Friday we're all going to be picking him up on his last day. He's also got... Um, He's also got, sorry, I'm just keeping you up to speed. He's also, he also has his school show, um, which is um, going to be The Lion King. And we're all hoping to go to that. I have to actually remember to pick up those tickets tomorrow. And that is on Wednesday. Um, he's going to fill out some cards for his teachers. His school report was amazing, as always. His school report was very nice. Um, he's done super well in year six. I'm very proud of him. Um, and here's to some new changes for me and for Kai. Um, the changes would be that um, I will be no longer working in the evening. I will tell you more on that nearer the time. Um, I have sorted everything out. I've been trying to sort out my life. Um, Kylan will be homeschooling. So that is the reason why I had to change things up a bit so we can all be there to work around Kai. Um, it's exciting but scary now that the time has come up. I might do a Q&A with Kai just to make things more interesting and kickstart homeschooling by um, doing a Q&A on how he feels now that homeschooling is approached and how he feels now that he's left school. I might do that next weekend with him. That's something that we might do if he's willing to. Um, yeah, so he had his leavers party. He had a great time at his leavers party. They had a photo booth. So he got some cute little pictures in his room right now of him and some of his friends. And it's a nice little memento. My daughter's about to walk into the house right now. She's just come back from work. Um, I'm just doing a vlog. Well, a hair tutorial stroke vlog anyway as I was saying um, I've done my normal work um, this week which has been really really tiring I have one more week also so me and Kylan are so excited to be just resting up next week um, I might do a clean with me next week also or during the holiday sometime um, because this place has been really getting on my nerves and I've not really had the time or the energy to even try and tackle what I need to tackle, but that does need to be done. So I might do a clean with me video. There's just lots of videos coming up that is a lot more exciting now that we are approaching homeschooling, now that we have completed um, primary school junior school as some would like to call it and now our journey truly begins for homeschooling please join us like and subscribe and tell your friends especially if there's people that's out there that wants to consider homeschooling but they're not sure how to do it and how it goes um, we're going to just give you the raw way of how we're going to try and tackle homeschooling and we are excited, we are nervous, we are scared, we're walking into the unknown but we are ready to do this and um, here's to a new chapter in our life. For now I'm going to have to go. Um, as my daughter has just walked in the door and you can hear Kylan calling me. So I'm going to have to go now. So what I would leave you with is stay safe, be safe, and peace.